It is your time. It is your move. Go take it. Winning 9-10 to 10 games a year wasn't good enough for the Bo Pelini era, and now it's up to Mike Riley to try making Nebraska a true superpower again. Here's the deal with the 2015 Nebraska Cornhuskers. Imani Cross and Terrell Newby will handle the rushing workload behind a good-looking line that should be able to overcome a few key losses. DeMornay Pearson now is a dynamic receiver leading a strong, good core that should improve as quarterback Tommy Armstrong gets more and more comfortable. But it's the other side of the ball that will get the attention. The much maligned defense comes back loaded with experience up front, even with Randy Gregory jumping to the pros. It wasn't that the defense was awful, it was just bad in key spots. Overall though, it was the fourth defense in the nation in pass efficiency, allowing teams to complete just 49% of their throws while keeping the big plays to a minimum. Expect more of the same mainly because most of the teams on the schedule can't throw a forward pass. The Huskers can't ask for much more than getting Wisconsin and Michigan State at home. If they can win those two games, look out because the road dates at Miami, Illinois, Minnesota, Purdue, and Rutgers just aren't that bad. However, watch out for BYU to open up the Riley era in Lincoln. That might be a dangerous way to start, but Nebraska should still win 10 games this season. And if it doesn't, there's no Bo Pelini to blame anymore. I'm Pete Futek. To dive deeper into the 2015 Corn Huskers, check out the written preview on Campus Insiders.